everybody. I'm Miss Lisa, and I am here today with our second baby band camp in which we use some ribbons, rhythm sticks and some castanets. Both are really great at clicking and making that tapping sound. If you don't have your own set of rhythm sticks, what I like to use are wooden spoons. And if you don't have a hard floor or something to play with, I like to use pots and pans because they make a great noise for kids to follow. But you do you as to what you want to give your kids. Unfortunately, there's not really a replacement for castanets. It's kind of a, you have it or you don't. But anything that we do with our castanet song you can also do with our rhythm stick song because as you can hear, they're both clicky. So we are gonna start off with some rhythm sticks today and some imaginative play as we do some TikTok and pretend to be a clock. Are you ready? We're gonna hold them up and start like this and we're gonna go back and forth like a clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock goes the clock waiting for someone to knock 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 my oh my it's a cat meow can you pretend to be a cat okay we're gonna tick tock again are you ready Tick, tock, tick, tock, goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My oh my, it's a bunny. What do bunnies like to do? Do they hop when they go up and down? We'll see lots of bunnies come spring out in our yards. Are you ready? We're gonna be clocks again. Here we go. Tick, tock, tick, tock, goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a walrus. Only put your own toys near your mouth. I know, isn't that silly? Walrus have really big teeth that stick out. They're called tusks and fangs. Tick, tock, tick, tock, goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's an alien. They fly in outer space. Wow, great job. Friends, one of the reasons I love to play with music, especially with young kids, as it really slows down your language, as you saw with TikTok. We didn't sing that song fast, but it was super fun and kids really begin to pick up those words and songs faster than sometimes they pick up words in phrases that we talk. Plus, if you've listened to me, I talk fast. And sometimes that is hard for kids to follow. So when we sing like this, it slows it down so they can hear what's going on. And we all know, kids love to know what's going on. Are you ready for another one? Tap your sticks in the air, in the air. Tap your sticks in the air, in the air. Tap your sticks in the air and do it with flair. Tap your sticks in the air, in the air. Tap your sticks on the floor, on the floor. Tap your sticks on the floor, on the floor. Tap your sticks on the floor, then do it some more. Tap your sticks on the floor and the floor. Okay, are you ready to move a little faster? 
faster. Okay, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as nice as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as quick as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as slow as we can. <coughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as loud as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's tap our sticks as nice as we can. Great job, everybody. Great job. So you might notice I hold my sticks a lot of times like drumsticks. That helps from playing the drums. But the other thing you're working on with your kids is what's called fine motor skills. So those same things that will have your hands working to hold a stick like this, or in whatever manner they do, are the same exercises that's going to help prepare your child to write as they turn four or five. And this is something that we can start doing as young as like one and a half or two, Sometimes you may need to help them, but as their hands get stronger, they should be able to grip things themselves. We also chose pretty thick sticks that we're playing with, which makes it easier for a child to grip. Are you ready? Here we go. Tap your sticks, tap your sticks. One, two, three, one, two, three. Can you tap your sticks? Can you tap your sticks? Just like me, just like me. Tap your sticks, tap your sticks. Way up high, way up high. Now bend down, now bend down. Tap the ground. Tap the ground. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Good job, friends. That was some great counting. Okay, we're gonna pull some sticks out again. This is the way we tap our sticks, tap our sticks, tap our sticks. This is the way we tap our sticks so early in the morning. This is the way we rub our sticks, rub our sticks, rub our sticks. This is the way we rub our sticks so early in the morning. This is the way we hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks. This is the way we hammer our sticks so early in the morning. This is the way we drum our sticks, drum our sticks, drum our sticks. This is the way we drum our sticks so early in the morning. Great job. Great job, everybody. This is some hard work. We're gonna go again. Are you ready? If you have some rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks. If you have some rhythm sticks, you can tap them now. If you have some rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks, Rhythm sticks, if you have some rhythm sticks, you can rub them now. If you have some rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks, 
If you have some rhythm sticks, you can hammer them now. If you have some rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks, rhythm sticks. If you have some rhythm sticks, you can drum them now. Good job. Good job, everybody. That was another good one for parents of children working on self-modulation and working on their stops and their goes. So that way there were times that we stopped and there were times we went and we went and we drummed and had great fun. <coughs> Our next song you may be familiar with, but we're gonna do it with some rhythm sticks. We're gonna do some wheels on the bus. Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The money on the bus goes clink, 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 clink. The money on the bus goes clink, clink, clink all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, all through the town. The parents on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The parents on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Great job, everybody. Great job. Okay, we are going to get out our castanets. And you will need some muscle control in order to be able to start using these. If you can't do it with just your fingers, sometimes I'll use my whole hand and make them go up and down. They're also great at finding a beat. But if these don't work for you yet, keep using your rhythm sticks. It all works. This is for you to do however it works for you. We're gonna do some stories of the three billy goats gruff. Are you ready? Trip, trap, trip, trap, across the bridge they come. Trip, trap, trip, trap, crossing one by one. Trip, trap, trip, trap, the baby takes a stroll. Trip, trap, trip, trap, over the sleeping troll. Trip, trap, Trip, trap, louder taps I hear. Trip, trap, trip, trap, the middle goat is near. Trip, trap, trip, trap, stomps the biggest goat. Trip, trap, trip, trap, the troll goes in the moat. Good job, everybody, good job. Wasn't that silly that the troll ended up in the moat? A moat's another word for water. I know, we have to keep those billy goats gruff safe from that troll. All right. This one, we're gonna do some clicking after each phrase. Are you ready? Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny, tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night. She clapped all day. She clapped to frighten. 
the cat away. Oh, we frighten that cat away. I know. That's another good one that you can also do with clamping. Let's try it again and I'll show you. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to sing. She loved to tap. But most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night. She clapped all day. She clapped to frighten the cat away. Good job, everybody. Good job. We're going to do one more song, and we're going to do it with bingo. You can clap on our letters as we go, or you can use your castanets. Are you ready? Or you can pull out our sticks again. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and bingo was his name. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh,